Hello and welcome back to another short video tutorial on the newest features of PaintShop Pro Photo X3. Today I'd like to show you the new Camera Raw Lab. Digital cameras by default save your photos in the JPEG format, a highly compressed format that tosses data it doesn't think you'll need or notice. Shooting in the raw camera format is becoming more popular as photographers prefer instead to edit a photo without any conversions being done to it first. PaintShop Pro Photo X3 simplifies the digital photography workflow for those shooting in the RAW mode. The Camera RAW Lab launches whenever a RAW image is opened in the full editor, allowing photo enthusiasts to adjust a variety of settings such as white balance, exposure, brightness, and saturation before processing. Let's open up the Camera RAW Lab. I'll choose just one RAW file from my organizer and click on the Full Editor tab. But instead of going all the way into the full editor, it opens up your photos in the Camera Raw Lab first. Now, you might ask yourself, why not just edit these photos in the full editor itself? Well, if you were to do this, all your images would be converted to PaintShop Pro Photos RGB workspace, very common in image editing applications, through what's called the demosaicing process. And then they would no longer be raw formats. Here you can edit before that happens. Let's make some edits, even though this looks pretty good already. After making your edits, you have another couple of choices. Clicking Edit will save the changes, convert the photo to RGB, and then open it up in the full editor for additional editing. Clicking Apply will save the changes, but return you to the organizer and keep it as a raw file. Let's do that. Now you notice by the little blue pencil that this image has been edited. Now what I'll do with this image, still selected, I want to apply these changes to some of my other raw images. So I go all the way to the left and click Capture Editing. Shift or Control any of the other images I want to apply this change to and either click Apply Editing or just right click and choose Apply Editing. We can toggle through these images to see if they're the way we like them to be. If not, you know, don't be afraid that it said this process can't be undone. It can, you just need to go back to the raw camera lab. That's all. And when I'm done, I can now convert these to formats I can use elsewhere, again, all at once, such as a JPEG. Let's do that. Select all my images, right click again, but choose Convert Raw. Choose the file format I would like off this extensive list, such as JPEG. Put it in a folder. Click Modify if you want to modify the names. Click Start, and it's on the way. In addition, although each camera has its own proprietary RAW format, the Camera Raw Lab is compatible with over 350 RAW formats and is constantly being updated to support more as new cameras are released, minimizing compatibility headaches. So there you are. Hope you learned something new again. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next video tutorial.